dear adventurers, and welcome to another Needlessly Complicated 14. My name's Arietta, and we are back at it with Final Fantasy 14. On Wednesday, we did something a little bit different. So, uh, this is the first week of my new schedule. It's the last day of the first week of my new schedule, in which I am streaming three days a week now. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, so I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the usual 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, and I am making sure that I'm still doing Final Fantasy two days a week. So those are going to be on Mondays and Fridays. But on Wednesday... We had the most chaotic stream I've had yet. Uh, I played Genshin Impact for the first time ever. And that was a lot. So I thought I had downloaded it completely. I was incorrect. And yeah, I'm going to teleport to Limsa while I talk about that because we are now on Ninja and we are going to be, I mean, we're on Rogue. We're not yet Ninja. We're going to be, we're going to be Ninja, but we're not there yet. We got to go to Limsa first and get that quest. But yeah, I had thought that I had downloaded Genshin on Monday. And on Wednesday, about an hour and a half before stream was going to start, I hopped onto OBS and I'm like, oh, that's right. I need to make a scene on OBS where it shows my Genshin window. So I had to open Genshin in order to make that happen and come to find out Genshin did not download. Do you know why Genshin did not download? It didn't download because there wasn't enough space on my PC. I had to make something like 56 or more gigabytes of space. And it took me that full hour and a half before stream would normally start to do that and then proceed to downloading Genshin, which took another hour and 40 minutes after that. So it became an impromptu art stream, except there was so much, there was so much going on in the way of technical difficulties and not realizing that I was muted for most of it and my screen not capturing. There was so incredibly much going on. That I ended stream and unpublished the VOD and started over. <laughs> Genshin finally downloaded. We did end up playing two hours of it. I still don't know how I feel about that game yet. But we're going to play it again next week and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, here we are, and I'm going to move my character a little bit more towards the center. Stream Elements is reminding me to take a sip of water. I'm also having issues with Stream Elements. I'm supposed to have a custom bot name, but updating OBS and Stream Elements, this most recent update, broke it. And now I don't have access to the stream element settings. Like, they will not open no matter what I do. So it has been a week of just all sorts of technical difficulties, all sorts of problems. I'm also having to deal with my partner's father coming up tomorrow. And he's, um, he's 
old and old fashioned and thinks he knows best about literally everything and informs us as much. So it's stressing both of us out that he's going to be here. We'll deal with it as it comes, but that's just one more thing that's been causing problems. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk to Jack and see what he has to say. I was wondering when you'd show up, Arietta, but bugger me if you don't look ready to mill an entire crew of sods by yourself. And bene that you are, because we finally uncovered some hard facts about that last treasure. Won't be long afore we cloy the win in peace and put that daft challenge to bed. All right, I've gathered the other coves for a meeting, so let's get down to it. At long bloody last, the black sarcophagus has given up its secrets. Underfoot, you got some news for us? Aye, Jack, I think I have our troubles in whittling the truth of it, lay in calling the... Hang on, I need to start this one over. Underfoot, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> Aye, Jack, I think half our troubles in whittling the truth of it, lay in calling this nasty thing a treasure. The black sarcophagus ain't no dimber bauble. It's the Mark L1 Magitech mine, a bleeding prototype explosive that was bitten from an Imperial transport vessel. And even though it ain't that big, maybe the size of a small cargo box, they say the blasted have enough kick to incinerate a bloody behemoth. Seems the Garleans meant to start producing at their factory in Lenosha, but the then distribute the mines through Castrum Marinum. Lucky some plucky privateer cloyed the prototype en route then, eh? An experimental weapon. That explains why the Thalacracy was so bleeding eager to bid on that, au on that auction. And so reluctant to share the details with us. At least we know the what, but there's still the question of where. The Kurs delivering their bitten goods to the reformists, that much is certain. What happened to the sarcophagus after that, though, we ain't so sure. There have been no reports of huge explosions or the like, so either the executioners still have the mine or they've peddled it to some other buyer. The reformist faction came together out of their shared hatred for the admiral in her ways. I'm guessing they didn't cloy that bomb just to sell it. What is it, Lonnie? A letter for you, Jack. Says it's urgent. A letter? Who's it from? The old man. I found it while I was sorting through our daily deliveries. Let's see now. Come to Thalos. I have urgent news. I've never known the old man to summon a customer. No one's seen him at his usual haunts for a while, so do you reckon it, this this is some rum morsel he's dug up just for us? Aye, it could be. Arietta, you and me are headed to Thalos. Underfoot, Vikebe, you're to take another stab at pinning down the location of the sarcophagus. Suspicious! Alright, just need to check a couple things real quick. Doop One thing about streaming more often is the getting used to it. I have so many things that I need to check and recheck to make sure that they all went through properly. Okay, so Jack and I are heading over to Thalos, which is in, is it upper or outer Lenosha? 
It's the one directly above Swift Perch. Or Aleport, my bad, Aleport. Okay. So along with all of that other stuff going on, I've had two doctor's appointments this week that were at ungodly o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I've also just been flat out exhausted. Like I said, it's been a long, rough week. And I'm hoping that Sunday, at least, I'll be able to rest for a while. Uh, it was bad enough that I was experiencing a whole lot of pain in my ankles and feet and swelling in my legs. I ended up needing to wear compression socks for two whole days just to keep the swelling down and the pain from acting up too much. Okay. Hey, it's evil purple. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You sense a hostile presence, and it's bloody executioners. Dang. Okay. That's right. I don't get an AoE until level 38, is it? Okay, and I also don't need this anymore, so we'll take it off the hot bar. Black Marketeer, oh no, he did. <laughs> You're wasting your time, darling. We opened that Scrag's wrinkled throat bells ago. You cross the bloody executioners and you get what's coming to you. Did you like her message? We wasn't sure you'd fall for it, but a little mystery goes a long way, eh? Aw, oh, now don't be like that, darling. Me and me mates didn't have much choice. So when the boss says go play with the rogues, then we gotta go play with the rogues. After all, we never asked you to come ruin our game, now did we? And don't give me no long-winded speech about your precious code. The reformist vision stretches far beyond what them tired old rules is good for. Once Captain uh, Eisbeheer takes command of the executioners, he'll have us back in... He'll give us back our teeth we lost when we submitted to the Admiral's leash. We'll be the tares of the sea once more, free to rove and plunder in a new age of pirate glory. And I'll bathe in the blood to see that age come to pass. I'll kick down your shite stinking code and have all your sneaky heads on the chopping block. Hi, Seki. I'm sorry to hear about mom aggro. <laughs> that sounds unfortunate. Like L's, you will. The only sentence of what's being passed today is yours. Well, hello there, darling. Ain't you a fine-looking lad? I've heard all this pirate prattle before. Free to pillage and plunder, is it? Aye, it all sounds grand, but you don't think of the price. That shite-stinking coat is the only thing what keeps you bloody clo bloody coves from milling one another. Without it, without Limsa Lamensa to call home, you'd be adrift in an ocean of quarrens. But if you're so keen to keep company with the dead, I'll be sodden happy to oblige. Oh, she was fine. She just pulled my attention for a while. Okay. 
<laughs> Good to know. Good to know. So it, she was uh, generating aggro, not causing it, or rather experiencing it. I don't know. You get my you get my meaning. <clears throat> huh? You was prettier with your gob shut, but I can't. I can see I'm out of my depth here. As much as I'd like to lob off your noggins, I'll have to be satisfied with dragging the two of you out into the wilds. Kept you well out of the way, haven't I? Out with it then. <laughs> Ain't it obvious? You stubborn crags is looking to swipe our new toy and it was my job to stall you. The captain has uh, the mine with him right now. He's set to show the rest of the executioners that he's got the stones to sit in the leader's chair. And what better way to do that than executing the bitch what snapped the chains on our crew? He's targeting the admiral herself? You're planning to blow up the command room, ain't you? Aye, you have me permission to panic. Of course, if you'd rather steer clear of the city, I'd be glad to keep you company right here, sweet mean. Ha ha ha. Ugh, rude lady. We've got this mad mort at our mercy, but she seems to be enjoying herself. I'd better drag her back to the guild and see what other information she'll spill. I'll need you back in Limpsa's... Oh, it's still Jack. I'll need you back in Limpsa as well, but you've business at the foremast first. You should find Captain Milala at her post there. Forget about the sodden challenge and tell her everything we know. Unless my judgment's well off kilter, she'll do what needs to be done. Uh... Well... Back we go. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Seki? I hope things are going well. You forgot to eat until it was like 4 p.m. Oh no! So you had brunch. Uh, is that breakfast, dinner, lunch? Breakfast for lunch and dinner. <clears throat> okay, so we need to go upstairs. Where is she? Downstairs? Where is she? Uh... At the foremast. Oh. Okay. C please close. Thank you. Middle Lenosha. Not when Osha. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hang on just a second. Save. Okay. Yeah. Pronouncing Lenosha is turning it into Osha, which is not the no shows, Lenosha. I give up. I'll deal with it later. All captioners are going to have problems. This one at least knows Thanalin, I think. Okay, sometimes it works better than others. All captioners have problems. I'm trying my best. and It's not something I can deal with right now. I'm already stressed out to hell and back.
Honestly, I should probably just remove the captions preview so I'm not looking at it. Because I can't deal with it right now. Oh, you're one of Jack's rogues. You've come to steal the sorrows, have you? Well, you shan't have them. As you can see, they're safely clasped upon my very own. Hmm? You're not here for the earrings. No. The Admiral, you say? And you're sure these fiends are in possession of the sarcophagus? I must deploy more sentries at once. Do not think this voids our challenge, rogue, and you can uh, relay as much to your impudent guildmaster. I suppose that, that you can thank him for the warning as well. That cockiness will be the death of you, possibly literally. Okay, so it looks like the timers are working today. Yay! At least one of the things is going right. Uh, as it says in chat right now, it's still not showing up in the chat on screen, but uh, we are presently at uh, 27 followers out of 30. Once we hit 30 followers on Twitch, we are going to be unlocking the first emote on our Discord server. All right, Seki says, keeping the earrings that might get stolen on your own ears is a pretty safe place, uh, all things considered, if you have a gun. Eh. Seki, you know exactly what happens in this quest. <laughs> How safe is anything, anywhere, regardless of weaponry? <laughs> All right. I also need to check a thing. I am very tired today. I was debating uh, not streaming, but I really wanted to still stream today. Huh. Okay. They get spirit bound to you. Spirit binding doesn't mean that. <laughs> the spirit bonding only means that your spirit is getting uh, bonded to the item, not that the item is getting bonded to you. All right. Oh, hello, Nikki. She's sitting in the window staring imperiously at me. Uh, you can't trade items with spirit bind. True, but that is a mechanic for players, not NPCs. Ethernet. Fisherman's Guild. And technically, they wouldn't be traded. Uh, it thought you were saying something uh, sexual. <laughs> oh, I want the mushy. I want this, this, this little. How do I see the mushroom? Show me the mushroom. Okay. Yes. I want the little mushroom. Eh. It's not letting, uh, 
I give up. Anyways. So the jackets are on the move? Bene. I've been listening uh, to that adult pirate to cackle since I got her back to the sisters, but she's uh, given us not what no, we didn't already know. And we know more than enough. I'd say we rally the rogues and go after that mine afore it blows up our, in our muns. If the leader of the reformists, this captain, uh, I said, I just pronounced this, Captain Isabier is planning on milling the Admiral with a bang, then my guess is he'll be aiming to demolish the entire command room. You know, the mizzenmast, eh? The tower what holds the drowning wench in Bulwark Hall? The Admiral's bridge and her command room are right at the top of it. Then you've uh, got the district what surrounds the mizzenmast. That's the busy, beaten heart of the city. Even with the threat of an attack, you can't just seal it up in the blink of an eye and call the whole thing Bob. Try to explain the danger to the culls of what live and work there, and you'd have a, a frightened, stampede, and mob on your fambles. Nay, lass, uh, our only option is to have eyes snilching every uh, approach to the tower. I'll put the wit out to as many coves as I can and spent, spread them through the streets. I can't talk. I am so tired. <laughs> Your job will be to cover the aft castle. Just wait and see, Arietta. We'll get this uh, Isba here and his little bomb, too. Was that a Wizard of Oz reference? I think it was. Oh, it's such a cute little mushroom. I want one. Okay, so... Position from the aft castle. All right. I remember this one being a little bit confusing, so please forgive me if I get lost. I'll find the way eventually and hopefully before time runs out. It's just, yeah. Rogue is not one of my best player classes. At least these people know how to social distance. These ones less so. I do like this little cinematic where it shows them all going around and keeping an eye on things. It does really add a lot more drama than a lot of the other uh, job quests. Ugh, the fog picked a grand night to roll in thick. This will make things interesting. Our presence on the streets is far too thin. Now where are the reinforcements I ordered? My apologies, Captain. There just aren't any more soldiers to spare. The bulk of our forces has already been assigned to guard not only the Admiral, but a number of the other high-ranked personnel as well. Unacceptable! Well, what could Commodore Rayner be thinking? There are dangerous criminals stalking the streets as we speak. 
Call in the squads from the outpost if you must, but I want to see our security tightened and the populace properly protected. But Captain, we can't be certain the pirates' plan hasn't changed. If we consider the possibility that they've switched to a target outside the walls, it would be folly to weaken those defenses. Humph! <laughs> You've made your point, Sergeant. Return to your post. Once all is lost, it is far too late to question what one should have done. You seem troubled, sir. Perhaps I can be of assist? been dying to meet you, lass. I keen to set eyes on the bold yellow belly that cost our crew a fortune in old Don coin. You, you're an executioner, one of Eisbeheer's men. You've strayed too far into a world you don't understand, lass. Your eyes is fixed on the light of justice, leaving you blind to the chasm opening up at your feet. At least they'll say you died with your boots on. The yellow belly won't be bothering us no more, Captain. As f for the mine, the lads will have it primed in front of the wench by the time you get there. The Seki says, well, that sergeant who left before just straight up left. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Not long before we drag that bitch admiral or pretty tower and all of her simpering curs down to the bottom of the sea. Then I'll raise her flag on the ruins of the mizzenmast and lead our brethren in a return to the old ways of blood and plunder. Should not have had that last bottle. Bottles. The wife's gonna kill me. Eh? What's that then? A very angry small thing. That's what it is. Not after the command room. They mean to bring down the entire tower. If the missing mass falls, the bridges will follow. Half the city will. But please, you must help me. The danger, far greater than we. Bloody hells, it's alive! Oh, no, 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 I didn't see nothing. Didn't see nothing. Please, you must send word. Someone must be told. you your valiant and forthright weapon you could hear that single pistol shot from mom's away weren't hard to guess what had happened i poked the yellow jackets on my way over a here a healer will be along shortly 
Bene, that means we have one last thing to do. We have never been allies, but I beg of you. You must, you must stop them. Save the city. Alas, uh, you know you don't need to ask. Taking down mad coves and biting back what's been uh, bitten is our job. You all set then? Ready, Jack. Always. All right, we about ready to storm the castle. Then let's go cloy that sarcophagus and, and fit Isabel here for a new coffin. All right. Um, make for the mizzen mast and find uh, Asba here. Uh oh, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, just. Just keep smacking things. Just keep smacking things, right? Okay, so the mizzen mass is up here. Have to go. I have a better understanding of this city than I did before. That's apparently not the way. What the heck? Uh, yeah, it really is a silent nod adventure. I think the timing could have been better. Like a lot of the, um, a lot of the dialogue and whatnot could have been so easily just taken out. Uh, well, not taken out, but the spaces between all of the just sentences spoken could have gone so much faster. Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? I have to destroy detonators. But I also have to destroy these people, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We'll get to it. We'll get to all of it. Okay, you. You are causing me issues. I do not appreciate it. I also do not appreciate this geometry. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything in regards to timing, but I am seeing the black sarcophagus, sarcophagus, sarcophagus. On the screen. Just, okay, forget it. You guys have this. Can I attack it yet? No, I have to take him down first.
please, please go away. Oh my god. Why aren't you dead yet? You've been at n almost no health for so long. Okay, that's the sarcophagus itself. So now I'm looking for detonators. Is that what this is? Because uh, that guy's just not going to stop. Keep them busy so the NPCs uh, don't stand silently. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so that's one out of three. Okay. I blew up and died because I didn't realize that the guy wouldn't die. So we have to do that over again. Okay. I'm gonna shake my wrist out because definitely feeling it. Ow. Okay, let's try again and we'll skip all the excess conversation because we don't need to deal with it. Yes, we're going to do normal. It's the bad timing, not bad gameplay. Okay. Yeah, I know what to do. Let's go. Okay. Can't really see what I'm doing, but this is fine. This is fine. Okay, where... Not a fan of not being able to use my camera effectively. Okay. I don't know who's healing me, but I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take this guy down and then immediately go to the detonators. Unless I am stopped. Okay. Okay, there's one. Um, probably one at the bottom, I would guess, but I'll deal with this one up here first. Okay, and it's not here, so we have to go further. Okay. 
Okay, so I have dealt with all of the detonators. Uh, okay, so now it's saying that full attention can be paid on the executioners themselves. Come on. Why is why am I not moving? Oh, I'm locked. That's why. It wants me to use my negating skills. Why? Okay, there we go. Okay, now, please go down now. I would appreciate you s to stop attacking me and everyone else. Okay, we did the thing. I do like that little haircut for the Lala. Status report. The mine has been disabled and the engineers should have it safely removed. Our soldiers sustained some injuries in battle with the reformists, but none were fatal. Also, the Admiral sends her sincerest gratitude. Hmm. <laughs> Look, there she is! That's Captain Milala, the hero of Limsa Lumensa! Feel guilty, small lady. Are you recovered from your wound, Captain? We heard how you nearly lost your life stopping that horde of pirates from blowing up the mizzenmast. Three cheers from for the Yellow Jackets. Our city'd be lost without you. But wait, that's not how it... Sergeant, what are the rogues? Did they survive the battle? I don't rightly know, Captain. All we found near the sarcophagus were reformists, either dead or strung from the rafters. Alive, then. It would seem we are deeply in their debt. You bet you are. Uh, Captain, might I have the Silver Sorrows from you now? We'd been ordered to hand them over to the Commodore, along with the Black Sarcophagus. Why, of course, they're right here. The earrings! I could have sworn I was still... <gasps> He wouldn't have. He stole them from me while I lay dying? That, that cad! I knew he was not to be trusted. Keep an eye on them, indeed. I should have known. We're standing right here and they don't notice us? I love how Jack's just wearing them. Just like, fashion king. You sure about this, Jack? We should have cloyed the sarcophagus as well. Eh? I think you know, she's earned it, don't you? If it bothers you that much, think of it as a trade. <laughs> if you ask me, they look a bit daft. Well, I didn't ask you. 
So the jackets ended up with the mine, and we got the diamond and the earrings, which means victory belongs to the rogues' guild. Do you think Malala will leave it at that, then? I get the feeling we ain't done with her yet. I'd say we're done with our challenge, but you never know when our paths will cross again. We'll just leave it. We'll just have to see what Limsa's underbelly spits up next. Aye, the city ever ain't ever quiet for long. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you, Arietta. If ever I need a trusty pair of stabbers by my side, I know who to ask. I'm off as well. Bloody starving I am. Don't forget to yaffle a bite when you can, eh, Arietta? We'd best head back to the sisters, too, before the shrew decides she'd rather hear us cry cackles. Bene work, Arietta. Be seeing you soon. Yay! We finished the last quest for Rogue! We just have to turn it in. Okay. Fisherman's Guild. I'm gonna take some more water. Okay. Oh there, Arietta. It'll be nice to finally have a bit of rest, eh? The job never ends, but even a dimber damber like myself needs to breathe every now and again. And your venture and mates must be wondering where you've got to. That was a proper long assignment, but I'm glad you decided to see it through. You've proven to be a stalwart protector of the code, even if this ain't truly your world. When you walk back into the Lightmans, you'll have to find your own code to uphold. And when you do, you'll have the skills you learned in the shadow to help you defend it. Well, that's more than enough prittle prattle out of me. Your travels might take you far and wide, Arietta, but you're always welcome here at the Sisters. I can speak. I can use words. Those are things I can do. Item comparison. It's worse. A little better. Oh, I didn't. I think I actually have the steel salle. I just didn't put it on yet. Uh, so the gloves are the best option right now. Uh, both are equally as good, so I'm going to take the arm guards. Okay, before I forget again, I get a keeping your stabbers sharpened. I hope, because I've got a job to be done, and I reckon a, the dimber damber what put the executioners on the chopping block is just the one to do the doing. My men have sighted some shifty types around Wineport of late. Not code-breaking curves, so far as I know, and that's the rub. We don't know half as much about them as I'd like. They claim to be simple peasants, refugees from some far-flung realm, but I don't know many peasants what skulk about in the Darkmans as much as they've been doing. So long as they're not breaking the code, they can do as they please, but being who we are, it falls to us to look into the matter and make sure that all's bob. As Megut tells me this may be a two-rogue job, I've sent Underfoot on ahead, so... 
pull on your best to beat her cases and head over to Wineport and meet him there. So we haven't actually gone to Wineport yet, which means this is a perfect time to continue quests. Oh my god, it's Wind Up Fran. Hello, little Wind Up Fran. Such a very good Vera. So very cute. Okay, so we need to head back to Forgotten Spring and continue MSQ there. Oh, and somehow I'm in a fate. Oh! Well, this looks like fun. I'm helping! Yep. Oh. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Ah! Chaos! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No! Too many AoEs! Why are you like this? Maybe this was a mistake. I'm gonna say this probably was a mistake. There's so many of them. Uh, 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 uh. No. No. So apparently, uh, this was too big of a challenge for me. Yeah, a level 32 quest where I'm still level 30. You got pulled away again? No worries. Okay, so you'd cut your losses and move. I mean, probably the better idea, however. Yeah, I mean, it's so close, but it's also 33 seconds left. There is no way. At least we got a little bit of experience out of it. Uh, 
the game audio the game audio wasn't on because I forgot to turn it on. That's embarrassing. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. State your business, adventurer. <laughs> so this is the one oh, why Skate sent me. I haven't the foggiest what he sees in you, and until I do, you will receive no aid from me. Okay. Sure. That's a good one. Persistent bugger. Very well. Let's have a look at you. You've seen your share of battle. There's no mistaking that. And you did min manage to obtain that adamantoise egg. However, that was not more than a display of brute force and blind courage. The nun I once fought also believed that his strength would save him. He was wrong, and now I am none. Many years ago, I joined the company of heroes to hone my skills, instead of challenging my predecessor before I was ready. Even when I was young, I understood that victory goes to the patient, the cunning, and the pragmatic. That is why I claim my position, and it's why I still hold it, and it is why I will not help an unproven whelp. The children of the Saiyans do not offer aid to strangers. To do so is a sign of weakness. However, if you were to recog if you were recognized as a skilled hunter in your own right, it would be permissible to assist you. Across the desert to the east lies an Almalja encampment. There dwells a warrior renowned both for his strength and his guile. To even face this Amalja in battle, you must first find a way to lure him away from the encampment. I saw Nikki hop down from her perch. Now I'm curious what she's doing, because it's probably getting in trouble. Hi! Did you bring me some bubble wrap? That's very cute. That's very cute of you to bring me some bubble wrap, you little weird, weird, weird cat. Uh... She's been very needy for attention lately. Yeah, bubble wrap. She found a sheet of bubble wrap in my office and decided it was hers and kept biting it in order to pop the bubbles. Because of course my cat would like bubble wrap. She's now in my lap. Yeah, I like popping bubble wrap too. I wasn't expecting Nikki to like it as well. Hi, sleepy child. Hi. She's purring and getting cozy in my lap. Okay. This will be your test, to draw out and defeat the veteran. For this I will offer you no advice, only this worn spear. Why, you ask? You will have to solve that riddle yourself. Now go, slay this old warrior and bring to me his necklace. Good girl, Nikki. Yes, you get cozy and hang out. Okay, so... I have to... Oh. It's not on the minimap. It's not on the minimap, but it definitely will be if I go over there and do that. Plus, it's a level 31 quest, and not all of my jobs are level 31 yet. So, I'm going to go try to make my way to Wineport. Which I haven't gotten to yet yet. Snicky, hi. She is so very much trying to get my attention. So, I'm going to go to Costa del Sol and just run. <laughs> are you making biscuits? Yes, you are. That's very cute. Okay. I know, we also have quests here, but we're trying to unlock Ninja before we do that. Your claws are very pointy. I'm going to need to cut them again soon. Shh. 
She has decided I'm not going to give her attention, so she's gotten up on my desk and is blocking my screen. Yep, that's incredibly helpful. Love that for me. <laughs> okay. And this isn't a chocobo stop, it just looks like one. Okay. Yes, I would like to go to Raincatcher Gully, please thank you. I, I want my chocobo back as well. Going to move the character down a little bit so we can see above our heads a bit more. Ooh, level 35 leaves of wine port. Can't do that yet. Okay. And now we can go and talk to Underfoot. Arietta, when Jack said he'd be sending one of the guild's uh, canniest morts uh, along after me, I had a feeling it might be you. Now, I'd love to tell you old Underfoot's already whittled out the whole scrap on our friends, but truth is I've turned up more questions than answers. They claim to hail from the South Sea Isles, but... Me little birds at Melvin's gate swear to the last man that that's some piss-poor mummery. There's no record of any such ships sailing into port. Looks like it falls to you and me to take a closer snilch, eh? I? I hope you brought your sharpest stabbers, uh, as there's no telling who we're... Did you hear that, lass? Either old Underfoot's gone daft or some mort just screamed out for dear life. Something tells me our task is about to take a turn for the interest in. What say we go see what's what? Okay. Is it going to be inside or outside? I'm guessing outside. Nikki, that tickles. Why are you rubbing your whiskers? on my elbow. Ah, have mercy, I'm but a simple milkmaid, with not a single guilt to my name. Rest easy, lass. My friend and I don't mean you no harm. Though I must say, you've got me curious. Just what in the name of the Twelve happened here? That was a very sudden cut closer into frame. I had just come to town to purchase some supplies. No sooner had I walked through the gates than I was suddenly... Nikki. Please get down. Then I was suddenly accosted by three burly drunkards who demanded that I hand over all my possessions. To my good fortune, it seems the men had partaken a bit too heavily. When they saw the meager contents of my coin purse, they began to squabble amongst themselves. A fistfight ensued, and before I knew it, the three men were lying on the ground as you see them now. Sounds like Nymia smiled upon you today, lass. Though I might suggest a... Though might I suggest you be a bit more careful on your next visit. All manner of scurvy sorts have frequent these parts, and you'll find that not all of them are Blunder and Lackwitz like your friends here. Also, why did she come into town buying things if she doesn't have a guild to her name? Thank you for your concern, good sir, and rest assured that I will take your words to heart. Good day to both of you. She did the dome and bow. Nikki, what are... Trouble child! <sighs> Well, Arietta, how did the girl's wit strike you? Mummery. 
You too? I was thinking the very same. Squabble it amongst themselves. Just look. There's barely a scratch on any of these louts. Aye, I'd wager there's more to the rum doxy than she's letting on. Come, let's go drag... Go on the drag and see what she might be hiding. A bat? I don't know why there's a bat. I actually haven't done this unlock quest before, so this will be new. I finished up Rogue and didn't go further. Oh, and we need more mineral water. Hey, why are you surrounded by more people who fell down? And a right mess we've got here. You reckon these coves got on the wrong side of our lass? One thing's for sure. They're no more peasants than you and I. One look at those stabbers tells me as much. Man in peasant garb. I have failed. I beg of you. Take this and return it to Master Oboro. To Lady Tsubame. It's too late. The poor sod's dead. As for this stone, your guess is as good as mine. A lucky charm of sorts, mayhap? Any road, we'd best start moving on, moving our dewbeaters before the last gets away. Her footprints... I'm so tired. I'm sorry, guys. Her footprints lead in the direction of Upper Lenosha. Luckily, not to the Garlemald. Uh, encampment right there. Nope, not doing that fate. Okay. I haven't been up here yet. And I am not yet close enough to go and get the Aetherite. Okay, so I have to go over here. Let's just scoot in a little bit. So I can see. So I'm going to have to get rid of these guys in order to get over there. If you ever need to mount through higher level enemies, you can always recommend going a tank class to survive the run through. I appreciate that, thank you. Good advice. Depending on what it is, I usually, uh, if my level is high enough, I will just hop on Botanist and sneak through. Because then it's not a matter of survival so much as they can't see me. More people on the ground! <clears throat> she hides behind a tree as if that could hide her from me. That's some interesting walking. She didn't really think she could fool me with those silly rags, did she? 
Or did she? Perhaps she's not as clever as we believed? A mysterious savior rushes to the damsel's defense. Such bravery, such compassion. Such folly. Little does she know that the girl is more than capable of taking care of herself. And right on cue, Abora the Dimma leaps onto the scene to save his dear little swallow in the most unsurprising surprise attack the realm has ever seen. Cease your rambling, Sir Karasu, before I rip that tongue from your bloody beak. Yow! Our hero is wounded. A stab through the heart. His childhood friends stand before him, blades drawn and hate in their eyes. Oh, the tragedy of it all. The audience sobs. And what's this? A couple of, of bit players who have forgotten to leave the stage? Did no one tell them their part in the display is long since over? Oh ho! And the faceless rogue shows a surprising skill. Perhaps she yet has a role to play? I will say this much. Unlike a certain someone, at least you intrigue me. But other matters demand our hero's attention, and so the first act must draw to a close. Come, my pets. Wait! K Karasu! Ever quick to retreat, that one. The two from Wineport, did you follow me here? Beg pardon, miss. My friend and I are here on behalf of the dutiful sisters. And you, sister, have some questions to answer. I've lived on the underbelly of society long enough to recognize when a man's more than he seems, so make this easy for us, lass. Just who exactly are you, and what are you doing here? And here's hoping for both your sakes that it doesn't involve breaking no code. So you are the rogues of whom I've heard so much. Forgive me. We were remiss in not seeking you out sooner. Very well. You shall know all there is to know. My name is Oboru, and she is a Subame. We hail from a village in Doma, several thousand moms across the sea. We are... Uh, but it perhaps... A, but perhaps you have no word for it, what we are. In our own tongue, one might call us Shinobi. Doma? The Imperial Province? The same, though it did not have to be so. Our countrymen fought with honor against the might of Garlemald. What we lacked in number we made up for with martial prowess. It was a battle we could have won, had we not been betrayed by one of our own. Our every secret, our every move known to our foe. The tide of battle turned on the morrow. Thousands of our countrymen were slaughtered, and uh, at day's end Doma remained under the imperial yoke. The traitorous Kerr joined the Imperial ranks as chief of their covert operatives, or so they say. That is the man you just meant, Karasu, though I am loath to call him a man. To this day he whispers in the ears of the Garleans, making a mockery of those who once called him friend and brother, but no longer. We have come to Eorzea at our village elder's behest to see that Karasu pays for his crimes with his life. Come to mill a treacherous rook who blew the gab on his comrades. You sound like you... You sound like a right Benig Hove. Consider old Underfoot impressed. Hmm? Forgive me. This land and its tongue are still new to us. Nonetheless, we are... We were able to lure Karasu here. But more than a few of our comrades gave their lives in the effort. And now this. Was their sacrifice for naught? silent protagonist I found something ah you have my gratitude when one of our kind falls tradition dictates that we return their soul to the village that it may rest with our ancestors what our fallen brother's soul calls out to this wooden man 
Could it be a sign? Are we fated to fight as one? I would make you an offer. We will instruct you in our art, the art of ninjutsu. In return, you will share with us your knowledge of this land, that it might serve us in our mission. But, but Aboro, she is not Doman. She is not of the village. Look around you, Subame. Our brothers and sisters are fallen or gravely wounded. And today's failure makes it all too clear. We cannot hope to stand against Karasu without knowing the lay of the land. Can't say I'm thrilled at the prospect of losing a Dimber Damber like yourself, but hells, in my younger days I'd have been keen to try me femme so at some of those techniques myself. And the more me waddles will take it and take in, the more these two strike me as Benar and Benar folks. If you're keen to lend them your daddles, I'll not be the one to stand in your way. If you would know more, come to the dock storehouse at Raincatcher Gully. We shall await you there. Who'd have figured, eh? Any road, the choice is yours, Arietta. In the meantime, I'm going to head back to Limps and report to Jack before he comes and gives me a good clout in the knob. Well, okay then. I am going to run over and get that Aetherite, even though it might cost me my life. <laughs> because everything's higher level here. This is a mistake of my own choosing. At least this time around, I know to stay on the path instead of trying to climb the walls. Though I still get stuck on geometry. Because I am too impatient to go around. Definitely getting tired. <sighs> but bare minimum, I am going to unlock Ninja. I'm gonna get that much done today at least. the reason the Chocobo mounts were all over the trailer for 2.0 was because in 1.0 you couldn't mount a Chocobo, only the Chocobo keeps. Interesting. And so we meet again. Am I to take your presence to mean that you have chosen to accept our offer? Thank you. I speak not only for myself and Tsubame, but for our entire village when I say that you have our profound gratitude. What I would tell you next, I would tell you out of the earshot of strangers. Byakubu has been instructed to let only trusted visitors through the doors behind me. When he speaks to, to you, Ayame, you are to answer Kaede. You need not know what the words mean, only that they will grant you entrance. Ayame. Kaede. Hi, Train! How are you? Glad to see you here. 
Enter. I am in the process of unlocking Ninja. Uh, that's right. Hot bar, copy, rogue one to ninja rogue one. Thank you for the reminder. I almost forgot. Ooh, this place is cool. Nice little dojo in the middle of a rainforest. <laughs> okay, let's see. I love how they're just... Weaponry is just sticking out. Blades fully out in the open from this training dummy. He was, you were actually considering uh, starting this game again next year when you have more time? I would recommend it. Um, how far are you in the game? Uh, Endwalker has been a whole lot of fun. I still need to get to the end, but right now I'm working on this challenge run where I'm doing all of the jobs simultaneously as I'm able to unlock them and all of the quests, including side quests. Welcome, Arietta. You stand within the provisional base of operations my people have established in your land of Eorzea. It may not look like much, uh, either without or within, but that is precisely the point. We find it an ideal vantage point from which to observe the comings and goings of Karasu and his men, without attracting undue attention to ourselves. You finished Heaven's Word, so you believe Stormblood is next. Yep, that's true. Uh, I'd like to try being a healer, so I was thinking playing Conjurer than White Mage. I do enjoy playing White Mage. Um, in my experience, it's the more simple healer option, mostly because it doesn't have a whole lot of damage buttons, and White Mage is kind of the quintessential healing class in Final Fantasy. Uh, I am having to learn how to do all of the healing jobs as well, and learning to be a healer has definitely been a learning curve, because on my main character, I play DPS. <clears throat> but yeah, Stormblood is also really good. I did enjoy this story quite a bit. The game just keeps getting better and better, and I think that's part of the problem. Everyone wants to get to the newest content, because all of the content just keeps improving over time. I agree, it sounds stressful, but I enjoy being a healer in other games. Yeah, I had never played a healer before this game, so it's been a new experience for me. But I do like how healing works, and that in Final Fantasy XIV, basically everyone is a DPS, just with extra responsibilities. My fallen brother saw you as a worthy inheritor to his soul. To honor his memory, I entrust it to you. But soul alone will not make you a shinobi. No, this will require training of the body and mind. Our art, the art of ninjutsu, originated with our ancestors many years ago. Since then, it has been passed down with each generation, mother to daughter, father to son. We draw power from the world around us, the heaven, the earth, and the hearts of man, and channel this power into physical form. I am told that this is similar to your concept of aether, was it? I must confess, the, that Eorzean words and the ways remain unfamiliar to me. How does one channel this power, you ask? Through the use of mudra, hand gestures that call forth each of the three forms of energy of which I spoke. The first mudra I will teach you will call power from the heavens. In Doma, we call this ten. You are eager to learn, yes? Attune your soul to that of my fallen brother, then approach me once more. It is then that your training will begin. Alright. Ninja has been officially unlocked! Oh, it's giving me cutscenes. Oh, brief cutscenes to show that I have the job stone. Right. 
so first things first we put the ninja stone in the soul crystal okay and so that was slash hot bar not hot bat hot bar copy rogue one ninja one and slash hot bar copy rogue two ninja two okay um and let's repair our gear because i'm sure there's quite a bit of it that is bad <laughs> scholar supremacy uh Seki in chat right now, she, her main is Scholar and has been Scholar since she started playing. And their recent update in PvP makes them basically a spreader of plague. <laughs> so they are uh, very difficult to do away with. Okay, and am I wearing the best gear? Yes. Oh, that's right. I also need to delete this set and add current set. Where was Ninja? I don't remember. Oh, it was the third one over? Yes. I also have a very complicated system set up so that I have a very quick change bar for all of my jobs since I am doing all of them at the same time. So these are the ones we've unlocked. The only other job stone we have so far is Warrior and now Ninja. Uh, for every 100 players there might be a scholar. We're endangered. We just want to spread plagues. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Yes, I can sense it. Though you are not of our blood, the soul of my people is strong in you. You are one of us now, a shinobi. And yet your training has only just begun. Heed my words well, Arietta, for the shinobi blade and mind are one. The weak mind gives rise to a weak blade. The false mind gives rise to a false blade. But the mind that is strong and true, the blade will know no equal. Such were the teachings of my master, his master, and his master's master before him. The shinobi must keep presence of mind at all times, or his blade may as well be one of glass. That is the lesson of the mind. Now we shall begin the lesson of the body. You will recall the art of ninjutsu involves using hand gestures called mudra to summon the energies of heaven, earth, and man. Ten, chi, and jin in the domen tongue. Myriad techniques can be unleashed depending on the mudra you combine and the order in which you do so. But perhaps I am getting ahead of myself. A child must learn to walk before he can run. To begin, I would see you master your first mudra, ten, the mudra of heaven. Summon the energy of heaven and project it forth, and from your hand will fly a flaming star, or Fuma Shuriken. Outside of the storehouse you will find a, a Mokujin, a wooden man of the sort traditionally used in Doma for training. Do as I have told you and strike it with a Fuma Shuriken. I will observe your technique from a distance. Okay, can you mention something about ninja or possibly spoiler? Um, if it's about how to use a ninja, that's fine. Uh, so long as it's not story spoiler. Uh, and if it's that it doesn't matter the order of the mudra, that it just matters what you end on, I know that one. <laughs> okay. Um, where am I going to put these? Well, I don't actually, like, use several of these abilities, so I'm going to put hide. Okay, so this is lowers target's physical damage 
by 10% and magical damage by 5%. Create a shadow that nullifies damage up to 20% of maximum HP. Well, what I say the, will say is better keep the mudra on buttons you can easily hit at the start. It's just so whenever it's off cooldown, but later you use them a bit more often. Good to know. Okay, so mug. I'm gonna put this here, and this here, and this here. Um. Yeah. This seems right. It probably isn't. That's okay. So ninjutsu. Executes a specific ninjutsu action coinciding with the combination of mudra made immediately beforehand. Restores two charges to all mudra when Hyde is executed while outside of combat. I'm gonna put that here and hope that's where it goes. I'm gonna have to just kind of figure out ninja as I go. I have never even unlocked this job before. Okay. So this is our target. So... I did the thing. There you are. Yes, that will do, Arietta. Clearly we, d we did not misjudge your potential. Perhaps you have have also felt your body becoming lighter. This is but another benefit of your training. You may find yourself able to dance through the air with your blades drawn, but be mindful. The true shinobi sees that no movement is wasted. You demonstrated your skills well against the wooden man, but wood does not strike back. Your next opponent will not be so docile. Prepare yourself. Oh, I have to fight him. You can move around after you use Mudra, but you can't do another action or it breaks the Mudra. Okay. So don't try second winding or throwing a knife. Okay. Uh, the Onibi will attack in waves. Okay. Okay. Uh, summon a great beast for your next challenge. Maintain presence of mind. Oh, not another frog! Why frog? I don't like the frog. Okay, so apparently they die when they hit me. Uh, for your final challenge, I shall be your opponent? Rude. Oh, and these things as well? to say is that he's not seen anyone master the fundamentals of ninjutsu with such swiftness. Is that not so, Oboro? I am capable of speaking for myself, Tsubame, but it is true. Arietta has exceeded even my own expectations. Her blade slices through the air as a fish glides through water. But that is enough training for the day. 
Now it is my turn to be the student and you the teacher. I would learn the ways of Eorzea. You will instruct me, yes? You have my gratitude, Arietta. First, I would uh, know. First, I would better know the terrain of Lenote. Hmm? Is something amusing? Teaching him how to uh, bow in the western way instead of the eastern bow. My bow? I see. Who would have thought a simple gesture of courtesy would be so complicated? Like this, is it? <coughs> Ugh. Forgive him. Oboro has not been quite himself since coming to these shores. It would seem that neither the food nor the climate agrees with him. And let us not forget the stink of those infernal horse birds. All the more reason for us to complete our mission swiftly and return to more hospitable environs. Anyhow, Arietta, that should suffice for the day. Practice while you're ninjutsu and return when you are ready for your next lesson. He did it wrong again. <laughs> it would seem you have some practicing to do as well. <laughs> Yay! Level 31! Alright, so. Yes, a bar and breathe deep of the Chocobo's musk. You're just never going to let that die. They took it out of the game and everything, but the Chocobo Musk quest will never die so long as Seki is alive and well. Okay, so back to Limsa. And we will... It is your mission. <laughs> we will work a little bit on deliveries to level up our profession jobs. Okay, so what profession jobs do we need to level up? Um, let's work on blacksmith. Oh, there are other ones that have better... Okay, so we don't... We do need armor, technically. Uh, let's do the leather worker one, the toadskin sesti. City, so it's going to take a minute. Okay. We need a steel ingot and a diamond sinew. Probably with our sweet, sweet little retainer. This is our retainer. So we need a dire might sinew. Sort. Okay. I probably should have just left it open. That would have been the right thing to do, considering. Come on. You can do it. Load. Okay. I don't think we have any steel ingots, though. No, so we're going to need to make some. Okay, so that is bomb ash and iron. So we have some bomb ash, but do we have the iron for it? Yes, okay. Okay. 
So we're going to do a little bit of blacksmith after all. Load! Okay. So we are better off than we were before as far as making sure that we can get through high quality materials. Uh huh. Uh, not quite enough, but that shouldn't matter, right? Yeah. Okay. And we only needed the one, correct? Yes. Both of these are touch actions, so let's do that real quick. That wasn't as great as I would have hoped. Oh well. Sometimes the uh, crafting in this game is really intuitive and sometimes it is Really not. <laughs> this person's dressed like Luffy from One Piece. All right, so we got one. And just get a little farther away from the crowds. Nope, wrong one. Timers. There we are. Mission allowance. And so... Weaver we don't need. Uh, fluorite choker is goldsmith, which we do need. I'm not going to try to spell fluorite from memory. It is a mistake. Okay. Uh, actually, the recipe tree will show me if I have it. So I have two raw fluorite, which I can use to make a fluorite. And I do have the silver ore that I need to make the silver ingot. I'm pretty sure all of that is goldsmithing. So we'll switch over to goldsmith. That's probably not enough. Ah, never mind. It was just enough. Exactly enough. I don't think I actually needed to improve that. I think I already had it. That's okay. Okay, so it was fluorite and it was silver ingots.
just the one I am pretty sure. We have the fluorite choker to make with our high quality materials. I need two silver ingots. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> Seed. No? Just barely? Just barely. Okay. Now we can make the choker. Okay. And this will be just a little bit more complicated. Okay, so we'll be able to level up two of our jobs fairly well. Our profession jobs, rather. So in the end, we did do everything we said we were going to. Right, we have level 50 and level 44 stuff. Cannot do yet. No, I need to speak to the personnel officer. Okay, so fluorite choker. And the high quality one. Levels up to 32. Nice. Okay, and the toad skin sesty. Oh! It had a moment as well, that's fine. Can I get a promotion? Yes! We are now a storm corporal! Hooray! Oh, she's dressed like Aerith. That's very cute. All right. We'll just hop on over here just so that we're a little bit out of the way. Nice little patch of greenery. Okay, so we did the things we were said we had said we were going to do. I can use words. That's a thing I can definitely do. So now we're going to call it here. Uh, thank you to everyone who came to say hi. I super appreciate you being here. Words are great. I like words. I'm glad because I have a lot of them. So I'm going to mute the desktop audio so that I can make sure that whomever we go to say hi to, uh, it will not blast in your ears. But yeah, uh, and thank you to everyone who has come to see 
the end of the first week of three days a week streaming. It's been rather a weird week to get used to the new schedule, but we're doing it. We're getting there, and I'm super excited for it. So thank you to everybody who's been here for that. Um, real quick. So in the chat right now is a link to my Beacons directory. From there, you can find my Twitter, the community Discord, uh, the VOD channel on YouTube, and tipping on Kofi and gifting on Throne. So if you are looking for any of my social links, you can click onto that link and the directory will have the information there. Um, on Monday, it is going to be the five month stream anniversary. We will be playing Final Fantasy 14 at that time. And yeah, we'll just, I'm thinking that we will try to get through two of the job unlocks. We'll keep with Limsa and we'll unlock both Scholar and Summoner since we need to unlock those both from the same class for those job stones. And I think for today, we'll head over and say hi to Junibug again. It looks like uh, she is playing through Hawk Manor right now. Um, and she's going to play Splatoon 3 a little bit later. If you would like to join the raid, there that is not the correct spelling. There is a raid message in chat right now if you would like to join us for that but anyways uh i also need to correct the end screen here i am now streaming on monday wednesday and fridays from 2 p.m to 4 p.m pacific daylight time so i'm going to be having a new seasonal uh, overlay soon but i should probably fix this one in the meantime so yes, Monday is going to be the five-month stream anniversary. We're playing Final Fantasy XIV. Wednesday is going to be my second time ever playing Genshin Impact, which will be oodles of fun, I'm sure. And then the following Friday will also be more Final Fantasy XIV. All the updates for that can be found on the Twitter and in the Discord. I am going to set up that raid. And again, thank you so much for being here. I super appreciate you. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.